Okay, hello again. This is the night before I'm going to bake my bread. Um, as I said last time, I had fed the starter twice. This is gonna be the, the prep. The first thing I'm gonna do is to remove eight ounces of starter and put it in this little jar so I can put it back in the refrigerator and have it for next time. So let's do that first. So I'm gonna take my little jar, zero it out. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour the best I can without dripping. It's always a challenge to see if I can get it in the jar without dripping any on the side. And that very rarely happens. So we got 5.7, 6.2, 7.4. It doesn't have to be exact. And about eight ounces, a little bit over. I think I did a pretty good job. Yay. Just. Set that aside and I'll put it in the refrigerator later. Next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and take about eight ounces, put it in my thin bowl. Remember I wanted the thin bowl because it'll warm up more quickly in the morning. Whoops, it started out not at zero, so that's okay. This recipe is very forgiving, so you don't have to worry about it. All right, we've got one, Four, five, seven, and about eight, 8.4, something like that. I think the reason I save so much starter is because I want to make uh, pizza dough using starter, so I want to have a little bit left over. Okay, so we've got about eight ounces here. Now we're going to add the flour that we want to uh, use for the dough tomorrow. So we're going to add, I'm going to zero it out again, 12.7 ounces of flour. This is the end of my bag. Luckily, the new flour did arrive, four bags of it, and I'm thrilled. I'll be in good shape for the next several weeks with making bread. I'm at 6.3, I'm sorry, did I say 11.7? 12.7 ounces of flour. Whoa, there's 13. So let's take some back. All right, that's 12.7. You can see, sorry about that. Not very good at this. You can't see because I'm really awful at this. There we go. And then I'm going to add the water. Zero it out again. 11.7 of water. There we go. I think I've got just enough water left. Nine, eleven, come on, eleven point seven. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and stir that really well. What you don't want is to get there the next morning, take it out of the refrigerator, and you go to put it into your mixing bowl and find that you've got these dry patches at the bottom because you're going to lose flour and you, the more flour you lose the less you have in your bread. We want to have as much bread as possible so I'm going to mix this up really good and use some elbow grease on it. Okay and we're going to fast forward to when I get done with this. But I feel pretty satisfied that this is in good shape. Um, I scraped the bottom several times. So the next step is to put the plastic wrap back over it or whatever you want to use, cheesecloth. Usually I do this about seven o'clock on a Friday if I'm gonna do this 
cooking on, baking on Saturday. Leave it out till about nine and then put it in the refrigerator. <laughs> there have been a number of times when I've walked in the kitchen the next morning, only to find my starter is still sitting on the, the table. So I have to kind of do things to remind myself to put it in the refrigerator. I've done everything wrong that you could do wrong in making bread and somehow always, things always seem to work out. It tastes good. You might have an albino loaf that's pure white and doesn't get browned at all, but the bread is still good and it's, it's still gonna work. So another step down, let this sit for a couple hours then I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. And we will start again tomorrow morning. So I'll see you then.